fever before the game, got it down to 99, so she played. Yep. How is she feeling today, and how has she been preparing? She's fine today. Woke up this morning, the same old Emily, so she'll be good. I, casually, she had a double-double yesterday, too, and that was sick. So yep. today, what can we expect out of her? I don't know, maybe a triple-double. I, 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 you know, Emily's Emily. She comes to play whether she's sick or whether she's not. So, she, you know, I'm hoping we get a double-double out of her. If, she, if we do, we're going we're gonna to be successful. So. I saw that you brought your team here to watch the previous game. What goes into the preparation, and why did you want to do that? To watch the previous game? Oh, just get rid of the nerves a little bit. I mean, that's what I'm used to all year, so I'm not going to change my, my routine. Thanks so much, Coach. Thank you. We'll be right back. There are those who dedicate themselves to a sense of honor, to a life of courage, and a commitment to something greater than themselves. They have always defended this nation and each other. They still do. The few, the proud, the Marines. this took was a pristine SAT, ACT, and GPA. Before that, a healthy dose of travel field hockey, volunteering, the arts, and 18 years of everything else. Sending a kid to college is overwhelming. But to solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at countryfinancial.com. First, it was the love of your life. Then, the promotion you deserved. The daughter you planned for. And the son you didn't. Now, you're ready for a new home. So how do you properly protect all this? To solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. Both teams just finishing up their captain's meetings and head coach Keith People, Schlarman head coach, coming over now to join me coming off that 51-40 win over Lebanon yesterday. Hi, coach. I'm going to steal you back now <laughs> one more time. You know, we can talk about Anae and her efforts always, but yesterday you had 23 points off the bench. How effective do they need to be in this game today? I need to step up. This is going to be an exciting game. Uh, your starting five are going to come out and do what they're expected to do, but our bench can make the difference tonight. How can Anea make a difference as well? You see her out there, you know, a strong girl committed to Notre Dame. What do you want to see out of her as a leader? I just want to see her go out and have some fun and play the game of basketball. This is a championship level game, but she's been in high level games before. Go out, absorb the moment, live in it, have fun in it, and just play basketball. It's nothing, no big deal. Just have fun. Thanks so much, Thanks Coach. Much. And we'll be right back with our 1A state championship game. You work hard, and you want to see your efforts pay off, literally. Whether you're dreaming of retirement, growing your business, or leaving a legacy for future generations, at Busey, we help you realize the possibilities of tomorrow. We listen to your needs and goals to create a sound strategy for you and your family. Enjoy the achievements of your life and work. We'll handle the rest. Busey, your dream, our promise. There are those who dedicate themselves to a sense of honor, to a life of courage, and a commitment to something greater than themselves. They have always defended this nation and each other. They still do. The few, the proud, the Marines.
all this took was a pristine SAT, ACT, and GPA. Before that, a healthy dose of travel field hockey, volunteering, the arts, and 18 years of everything else. Sending a kid to college is overwhelming. But to solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at Country Financial. Welcome back for your 1A state championship game between Stockton and Schwarm. And you're looking at Emily Oppenheiser, who yesterday woke up with a 102-degree fever. Coach tells me today that she is A-OK, so watch out for her. As for Schwarm and Anaya Peoples, always the player to watch yesterday with 14 points. And she's all about winning, so don't expect her to go down easy. Welcome back inside Redbird Arena, where we are now ready to bring you our state championship game between Stockton and Slarman. What a game this will be. Let's start with Emily Oppenheiser, the key player who I mentioned. Emily yesterday, like I said, woke up with a 102-degree fever, got it down to 99 at game time. Today, Coach tells me she's good to go casually. She had a double-double yesterday, so Coach joked, I don't know, maybe today she'll have a triple-double. On the other end, for Slarman, you have to watch Anaya Peoples, the Notre Dame commit, always a force to be reckoned with, but her team while you key Anaya, you have to watch out for her team. It was truly a team effort yesterday with 23 points off the bench for them, and Coach expects nothing less today. And with more on today's matchup, we go to Lee Hall and Chloe Barnes, who are on the call. Guys, this should be a good one to watch. It's our first day championship game of the day. Absolutely, Elise. Thank you very much. Yeah, the one thing that stands out to us from yesterday for these two teams is balance. They both, uh, you know, they're not one-person teams. I mean, they have... Uh, two or three, four people that can hurt you offensively. You're right, Lee. And when you hear about Schlarman, you hear a lot about Anaya people and Capriya Brown. But what about Janiah Newell? 15 points yesterday, led the team, which is a true testament to what Coach Keith Peoples has been saying all season long. We don't care who our leading scorer is. As long as we win, that's what matters. But despite having, you know, a strong presence, Emily Oppenheiser can help exploit the Danville, the lack of inside presence with Danville as they go into this next game. Danville Schlarman coming into this contest, ranked number two in the state. And uh, we just mentioned, well-rounded, yeah. I mean, just about anybody on the floor can hurt you. Absolutely, especially when you're looking at 23 points off the bench, and, and in addition to Anaya Peoples and Capriya Brown, they're usual suspects, but they need to be well-rounded if they want to be state champions today. It's always amazing to me when a freshman can come down here and do the things that Tiana Tempe has done this weekend. Tiana Tempe was so impressive for a wide variety of reasons. Her presence, her grace, her poise, and her ability to go four from six from the three-point line on Illinois' biggest stage was huge as well. I'm excited to see what she can do today. Schlarman ranked number two in the state. They thought they should have been here the last couple of years. They have a chance to take home the state title. Stockton will have something to say about that. Should be a good one here at Redbird Arena. Coming up. First, it was the love of your life. Then, the promotion you deserved. The daughter you planned for. And the son you didn't. Now, you're ready for a new home. So how do you properly protect all this? To solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at countryfinancial.com. You work hard, and you want to see your efforts pay off. Literally, whether you're dreaming of retirement, growing your business, or leaving a legacy for future generations, at Busey, we help you realize the possibilities of tomorrow. We listen to your needs and goals to create a sound strategy for you and your family. Enjoy the achievements of your life and work. We'll handle the rest. Busey, your dream, our promise. There are those who dedicate themselves to a sense of honor, to a life of courage, and a commitment to something greater than themselves. They have always defended this nation and each other. They still do. The few, the proud, the Marines.
ladies and gentlemen. Before our guest soloist sings the national anthem, we ask you to remember the men and women of the United States Armed Forces and honor them by serving throughout the world with this moment of silence. Thank you. And now we ask you to join our guest soloist, Madeline Alvarado, a senior student at Lockport Township High School, in the singing of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the And now, here are the starting lineups for the 2018 IHSA Girls Basketball Class 1A State Championship Game. First, for Schlarman Academy, a junior, number three, Sydney Gerard. For Stockton, a senior, number 14, Aspen Stewart. For Schlarman, a sophomore, number four, Capria Brown. For Stockton, a freshman, number 20, Tiana Tippy. For Schlarman, a junior, number five, Anaya Peoples. For Stockton, a senior, number 21, Megan Guiley. For Schlarman, a junior, number 11, Janiah Newell. For Stockton, a sophomore, number 24, Elizabeth Eisfeller. For Schlarman, a junior, number 15, Die. And for Stockton, a senior, number 34, Emily Offenheiser. Schlarman brings the 32 and one record in today's game. The Hilltoppers are coached by Keith Peoples. Stockton brings the 32 and two record. There you have today's starting lineups for Schlarman, the Hilltoppers, out of Vermilion County, east of Champaign, and enrollment of just 99. Again, our junior. In high school, French teacher, Madame Sharon Weiss is the superintendent. Shout out to her. They are 32-1 and one coming into this ballgame. On the other side, it's Stockton from the Northwest Upstate Illini Conference in Joe Davies County. Enrollment of 190. That is uh, definitely football country. The last state championship for Stockton High School came in football back in 1991. And if you are a fan of high school football and watch 1A football, it's the usual suspects from the NUIC. Then uh, a lot of those games on the IHSA network and a lot of high school football 
great high school football played up in those neck of the woods but uh, these girls trying to bring back a state title in girls basketball. Are you going to look at Keith Peoples his seventh season 155 and 47 he says this trip to state's been a long time coming and really feels a sense of relief being here at state after missing out the last couple of years. He's still got a young team no seniors on his team for Tim Tempe. He is in his second year as head coach 45 and 17 says he's still in shock bringing his team to state. Two of the top five teams in the final state rankings battling it out here for the state championship. And I thought Keith Peoples had a great line after yesterday's game. He says, we're going to the state championship, but nothing's changed. Our principles have been the same since day one. We're going to play hard-nosed defense. We're going to rebound, execute, play as a team, and see what happens. And I think that's a great way for them to be. One of the things I was most impressed with with the Schlarman team yesterday was their discipline on offense and defense. They have a game plan every single time they step on the floor, and all of their starters, one through five, execute it flawlessly. First possession of the game belongs to the Blackhawks until Capria Brown takes it away. Here's Peoples off the bounce. Brown with the follow. The second team all stater with the first basket of the game. And that goes back to what we were saying yesterday as well. One of the things that Coach Keith People says that his team does not get enough credit for is their defense and how their defense can generate offensive opportunities for them. You just saw a steal. You just saw a forced turnover. That's holding true today. Tim Tempe yelling at his daughter, Tiana, don't dribble past the basketball. Schlarman defense is... Uh, Pretty tough to navigate. Janiah Newell for three. Peoples comes up with the long rebound. One minute into our state championship game in class 1A. Anaya Peoples for three. We saw a lot from Anaya Peoples yesterday, her ability to attack and drive to the basket, but she's also a good free throw shooter. She's versatile. She can do just about everything. So it'll be interesting to see how she performs now that Stockton's playing them in his own. That's only her 13th three of the year. Here's the takeaway. Brown at the other end, and the blocking foul will go against Aspen Stewart. Foul on 14, Aspen Stewart. Tim Tempe saw what happened in yesterday's game, how Schlarman was able to get out to that big early lead on Lebanon. He doesn't want to see that happen to his team. He calls timeout here with 6.37 to go in the first quarter. Schlarman's a team that thrives off of tempo. So if you give them the opportunity to come out on a 10-point you know, lead, even a 7- or 8-point lead, you may not get those points back. So great call by Coach Tempe to call a timeout, gather his team, and figure out how they're going to get this stop on defense. Take a look at how these teams made it to Redbird Arena. Up top you see Stockton beating Walther Christian in the super sectional and then beating Okaw Valley yesterday a game that was pretty close for three quarters as they make it to the state championship game Schlarman avenging an earlier season loss to top ranked Anawan in the super sectional and then their 51 to 40 win yesterday over Lebanon to get here to this state championship game for Stockton on the other side they had a couple of close games in the final minutes on the road to state didn't take care of the ball particularly well and uh, the unusual pressure of the state playoffs and youth and they really didn't uh, according to Tim Tempe put their foot on the throats of their opponents and they have uh, had a little they look a little shaky handling the ball here in the early going on this stage. Absolutely, and that's one of the things that I'm most excited to, to find or to watch, pardon me, with Tiana Tempe. She is a freshman, but how will she respond to the pressure of being in the state final game? Will she be able to carry the ball up the court and get her teammates into a productive offense? It'll be interesting to see how that pans out in the course of the game. Capriya Brown, a 10.5 assist, three steal game yesterday against Lebanon. She's got four of the seven points and another turnover here against the Blackhawks. <laughs> T 
tough angle on that pass. Os Offenheiser ties it up. And it'll stay with Schlarman. Four turnovers in the early going for Stockton. They come up with the takeaway here. It's Tempe with it. Nice fellow loses it out of bounds, but it will stay with Stockton. It's much better ball movement by Stockton on the offensive side of things. It'll be great to see them get Emily Offenheiser involved early, like we mentioned in the pregame. Schlarman doesn't have that much of a consistent post presence. Nice feller. She averages nine a game. And the answer at the other end for Capria Brown. She's got six already. Side to Offenheiser, but it's taken away. Sidney Gerard with the steal. Here comes Peoples. Knifing through the defense, can't get it to go. That's one of the best aspects of her game and her ability to score and transition. And although that one didn't fall, they continue to give her lanes like that. You're going to see her chalk up quite a few points on that move. Megan Gully's shot is no good. The Hilltoppers bring it the other way. Up seven here in the early going. Brown again. Over that zone. Wolfenheiser had 17 rebounds yesterday. She got that board. Stewart. High arching shot hit. Misses everything. Brown inside. The destiny dive. Great court vision right there by Capria Brown. There, Danville's ability to push the ball and to see each other in transition and to make the extra pass, that easily could have been a Capria Brown point, but getting her teammate involved is one of her best strengths. Another good start for the Hilltoppers. Inside, Gully muscles that one up for her first points. About midway through the opening quarter, it's a seven point lead for second ranked Schlarman. Gerard to miss. Brown tried to knock the rebound off the of gully, but no luck there. Offenheiser was wide open there for a minute. We need to find a way to get the ball to her inside. She has about a good four inches or so, I would say, on Sydney Gerard. Blocking foul goes against Capria Brown. She's slow to get up. We saw a good start from Schlarman in the semifinals. Another good start here as they are chasing their first state championship. All this took was a pristine SAT, ACT, and GPA. Before that, a healthy dose of travel field hockey, volunteering, the arts, and 18 years of everything else. Sending a kid to college is overwhelming. But to solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at countryfinancial.com. First, it was the love of your life. Then, the promotion you deserved. The daughter you planned for. And the son you didn't. Now, you're ready for a new home. So how do you properly protect all this? To solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at countryfinancial.com. Back at Redbird Arena, Capria Brown. Looks like she landed funny when she was whistled for that foul, and she's uh, been favoring that one leg there, maybe an ankle. We'll keep an eye on that situation for you. She's leading Schlarman in the early going with six points. Keith Peoples says, our team doesn't take bad shots. The, sh the starters 
for Schlarman shoot over 51%. That's smart basketball. Gully on the follow. Here comes Peoples in transition. You give to Newell, she brings it back out. Great awareness by Newell. Try to get it inside to Peoples, she saves it. Here's Newell knifing to the hoop and Offenheiser with the block. Tempe for three, just short. Right on line, but didn't have enough of them. Peoples again. This time, the give to Destiny dies. She draws the whistle. Schlarman's playing exactly how they wanted to play, making sure that they're pushing the tempo of the game, primarily led by Anaya Peoples, and finding ways to score in transition. Stockton needs to make sure that they're stopping the ball early so they limit these types of opportunities. 59% free thrower. Destiny dies, a 5'9 junior. Both. Capriya Brown back at the scorer's table, so whatever was bothering her checked out. 11 to 4. Try to go inside to Offenheiser, and look at the defense from McKaylee Allen. She had a really nice offensive game and comes up with the D this time. Good offensive game yesterday, I should say. People's sweet little touch from the free throw line. Fantastic to watch her play and to see how she can be creative on offense. Does a great job of reading the defense and diversifying what she can do with the ball to make sure that she's effective as possible. She never does the same thing more than once. Katie Wright, number 13, into the ball game now for Stockton. You see Schlarman crowding up the middle a little bit. It'd be great to see Stockton find more creative ways to get Offenheiser Ooh. involved on the inside. Tippy was in danger of getting a five count there, but she comes up with a tough shot and a bucket. Peoples drives into a double team and gets denied. Tippy now for three. Ice Feller the rebound. And she can't get it to fall. Especially with Schlarman's defense as it is, if you're stocked in, anytime you get an offensive rebound, a layup, or any shot close to the rim, it's really important to make sure that you're gathering yourself, jumping off of two feet, and making sure that you're taking an effective shot. You need those to go in. Three from the corner is no good for Peoples, but the rebound goes to Schlarman. Newell for three. Yes! Janaya Newell, 15 points for Lebanon yet, or for uh, against Lebanon yesterday, I should say. And it's a 10-point lead for Schlarman. Great hands from Pe uh, Peoples that time, and now a whistle. Naya Newell has come to play this weekend. She has 15 points yesterday and then showing up big already today. You know, if you're, if you're Stockton, I understand the reasoning for playing them in a zone because on a man-to-man, -man, they're just charm and so athletic. You need to make sure that when you're in the zone, it's active. You're not leaving wide-open shooters and giving them open three opportunities like they've done thus far in the game. But Schlarman can shoot, too. I saw Brown back in the game. Aspen Stewart's three is no good. She chases down the long rebound. Tries to get it inside, is taken away by Schlarman. Here comes Brown to Newell, and the bucket. And a 12-point Schlarman lead. Textbook fast break for the Hilltoppers. Inside to Offenheiser, doesn't get the bucket, but she draws the foul and she shoots free throws. Doesn't get the bucket right there, but great job on Stockton's part on being creative with how they, they move, especially throughout the post, especially with Offenheiser, to have them do a low screen and have her go through with the mismatch. That's perfect. CeCe Damolino whistled for the foul into the ball game for Schlarman. Offenheiser, All-Stater, 16 points, 17 boards yesterday while fighting a fever. She's 
says winning and going to the state championship was both amazing and surreal at the same time. Final minute, first quarter, 1A state championship game. Schwarman out to a commanding early lead in this one. Good to see Stockton come out a little bit and challenge those shooters a little more, but holy cow, when you're Capri Brown, you can drive right by someone. Makes it a little tough. People's unable to convert on the foul. Oh, yeah, Brown split the zone defenders. She still looks like she's favoring one of those legs just a little bit. It's Schwarman shooting their way to an 11 point lead in this ballgame. You work hard and you want to see your efforts pay off, literally. Whether you're dreaming of retirement, growing your business, or leaving a legacy for future generations. At Busey, we help you realize the possibilities of tomorrow. We listen to your needs and goals to create a sound strategy for you and your family. Enjoy the achievements of your life and work. We'll handle the rest. Busey, your dream, our promise. There are those who dedicate themselves to a sense of honor, to a life of courage and a commitment to something greater than themselves. They have always defended this nation and each other. They still do. The few, the proud, the Marines. My name is Megan Guiley and I'm from Stockton High School. I have a ton of superstitions. I wear the same clothes for every game day. We always eat sweet tarts and Rice Krispies before games and we listen to music and do calisthenics in the same order every single game day. My dad is my role model because he's always been there for me and he's super funny so it always keeps things interesting. Something about coach that people don't know is he wishes and he thinks he's Michael Jordan. My most embarrassing moment of the season was when I fell on someone's head during a game and the entire crowd started yelling intentional. It was an accident, but it was still super embarrassing. <laughs> Something funny about one of our teammates is we took Emily's phone during or before the senior night game and she started crying until we gave it back. I can imitate Tiana Timpy. Oh, my muscles are so big. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Tiana didn't have enough muscle on that shot, though, did she? That's what happens sometimes, Lee, when you work out all the time. You know, yeah. you're too strong for your own good. It messes with your shot. I'm sure that's exactly what happened. I'll take your word for it. Sweet tarts and Rice Krispies before each game. That sounds like a Buddy the Elf diet plan, doesn't it? It does, but superstition is superstition. I've had quite a few. I'm sure you're superstitious in some ways. Janaya Newell with seven points. Game fest festivities and superstitions include caffeine and candy bars, I think. Offenheiser over the double team. I used to eat cherry Laffy Taffy before every one of my games, so I can kind of relate to the Rice Krispies sweet <laughs> tart diet. Diet of champions is what they called it. Aha. Uh -huh. Eleven point lead for Schlarman. Destiny die from the corner. That'd be a good name for a reporter or an honor person. Destiny die. Tempe for three. 
Great shot right there by Tana Timpy. We spoke about her before the game. She came up really big for them during the second half of yesterday's game. It'll be good to see if she can get some momentum going now that she's hit her, you know, her first shot. The muscles were in perfect synchronicity on that shot. She's got five here in the early going. Gerard for three. People skies for the rebound, puts it back up, no good. And Gerard whistled over the back. She got one offensive rebound and tried to get the second one and gets whistled for the foul. Tippy hit that huge three yesterday with five minutes to play against Oka Valley. She's having an outstanding year as a freshman. 93 pointers on the year now for Tiana Tempe. Stockton's doing a lot better job on the offensive end of making sure the Schlarman defense actually spaces out, which gives them a lot more room to work. Tried to get it inside to Offenheiser, but Peoples is there to take it away. Capriya Brown wisely pulls up, but can't hit the shot. She avoided the charge, but didn't get the basket, and it will be Stockton ball. The Schlarman team has been so dominant this year. 20 wins by at least 30 points, and you look at their schedule. One win was 72 to eight, and the and another was 51 to two. Two. I can't even imagine. Actually, I can. I've seen them play. <laughs> Their defense is fantastic. They do a great job offensively on offensive breaks, and they know how to capitalize when they do have leads. And every single person on their team can contribute. They forced the turnover that time. It's eight. Check that now. Nine turnovers for Stockton. Long alley you try to Peoples. She comes down with it. Gives it back to Brown now. Good defense by the Blackhawks. Gerard. No good. And Blackhawks come out of there with it. Foul will go against Schlarman. That's going to be against Newell, I believe. Schlarman up eight, just about midway through the second quarter. All this took was a pristine SAT, ACT, and GPA. Before that, a healthy dose of travel field hockey, volunteering, the arts, and 18 years of everything else. Sending a kid to college is overwhelming. But to solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at countryfinancial.com. You work hard, and you want to see your efforts pay off, literally. Whether you're dreaming of retirement, growing your business, or leaving a legacy for future generations, at Busey, we help you realize the possibilities of tomorrow. We listen to your needs and goals to create a sound strategy for you and your family. Enjoy the achievements of your life and work. We'll handle the rest. Busey, your dream, our promise. There are those who dedicate themselves to a sense of honor. For the biggest Bulls fan to appoint as the next Bulls authentic fan of the game. Someone who sticks with the team, win or lose, never misses a game. Do you have what it takes? Enter at NBCSportsChicago.com slash Bulls. AF. Schlarman fans enjoying this one out to a 20 to 12 lead here. 442 left to go in the second. If you're stocked in right now, Lee, it's critical that you find a way to get back in the game offensively. I would suggest trying to find a way to get Emily Offenheiser involved. She only has three points, very quiet and uncharacteristic for her. So far. Now they're fronting her in the post and they're bringing help when she gets the basketball. So she's going to face a double team, much like Paige Robinson did in our third place game. Stockton turns it over again. That's 10 now. That's the thing about this Schwarman defense. Even if they're 
not directly in your face or getting a hand on the basketball, just that pressure forces you to do things you don't normally do. Of course, and then just looking up, you know, at the offensive space and seeing a sea of blue, sometimes it's harder. You don't necessarily realize, you know, what type of openings you have because they seem to be everywhere. Brown on the offensive glass. He's got eight. And it's a 10-point lead again for Schlarman. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, it's Dyson on offense. One of the things that they could look to do the next time down the floor is because you're in a zone doesn't mean that you can't pick and create open opportunities for players to pop out of zones for open shots. Sydney Girard with her first points of the game, and now it's a 12-point Schlarman lead. I was going to say that Stockton is kind of facing the same situation Lebanon did yesterday where they're seeing maybe things they haven't seen all season out of another team. Including the breakout by Sidney Girard. I agree with you. I'd say Stockton's hard pressed to find a team with people one through five that can guard as well as Schlarman does. They're often noted, like we've mentioned before, for their offensive um, presence, but their defense is fantastic. Always pass a little too tall that time for Icefeller. Tana Cedar into the ball game, number 10. Her shot from the corner, no good. Ice Feller off the bounce, and she's fouled. Great awareness right there by Elizabeth Ice Feller. When anytime someone plays you in a zone, the key is to find an open lane and finding an opportunity to attack. But to do that, you have to have your eye on the rim at all times. So good job on her part by not being intimidated by that DMV offense and finding an opportunity to get to the line. Second foul on Anaya Peoples. There's Elizabeth Icefeller. She had 10 points yesterday and went over Oka Valley. Sixty-one percent free throw on the year makes the first. Stockton did a nice job at the line yesterday. Ten for fourteen in the fourth quarter for free throw line. Eighteen of twenty-five on the game. Icefeller makes them both. job on their zone by finding opportunities to still provide a little bit of pressure and being aggressive on defense. Schlarman's too good to give them a lot of space and to be able to have them pick apart the zone. For a moment it almost looked like a 1-3-1 and then dropping back now into a 2-3. They're just pressuring the ball with one of their Top two. Here's Newell off the bounce and good. She is really playing well this tournament. Nine points for Janaya Newell. Keith People says I love her energy. Again, no seniors on this Schlarman team. Tempe dribbles, gets free, and gets to the hoop. Man, what just, a fantastic move, though. I could just imagine her dad saying, too much dribbling. It was enough to get her to the hoop, but not enough to finish. And there's Janaya Newell again. She had 19 against 4A Simeon earlier this year. She's got 11 in this one. And I believe that 14-point lead is the biggest of the game for Schlarman. Tempe's going to get a break. She looks gassed to me. Katie Wright comes in for her. And we've got a timeout with a minute 20 to go on the second.
Schlarman dominant in this ball game. Dominant for much of this year. Their only loss coming to Anawan, and of course they beat Anawan in the super sectional to get here to Redbird Arena. Well, yeah, I think the tough part is Schlarman's dominant, but Stockton is also used to being dominant. So what happens when you know they've only had two losses on the entire year? What happens when you get to a state final and you do meet a Schlarman team that's also used to being the best? It, it's, it's causing them to really have to figure out who they are. And it'll be great to see if some leaders like Tiana Tippy and Emily Ovenheiser step up and see how they overcome this deficit. Number two, CC Davalano enters the game for Schlarman. Interesting. Tim Tempe's team, 13 and 15 a year ago. He thought they'd be better. He said, I'm not sure that we thought we'd be 32 and 2 better. And on the other side, Schlarman. Foul call there? Or no, guarding too closely on the sideline. Okay. On the other side, you got Schlarman, who's disappointed that they didn't get here the last two years. Felt like they should have been here. And now here they are. So differing, perhaps differing expectations, at least for the last couple of years, as Capriya Brown fights and comes up with the steal. Peoples can't hang on and they'll go back to Stockton. Lee you made a good point about differing expectations. You know, Schlarman kind of expected to, to be here. We're disappointed that they weren't stacked in. We're happy to be here. We didn't think that we were. So you'd almost think that it would the advantage would be on Stockton. They have a little bit less to lose. There wasn't a target on their back as opposed to Schlarman. You'd think it'd give them a little bit of an opportunity to, to play more relaxed and loose. Because they literally have nothing to lose. Inside to Aspen Stewart. She fought to get con uh, control of the basketball and scores her first points of the game. Keith Peoples has really done a great job preparing his team for the postseason. They played much larger schools. The Galesburg Thanksgiving Tournament, the State Farm Classic here in the Twin Cities, the Chicagoland Shootout, the MLK Shootout. And they've got wins over much bigger schools, 3A Metamora, Springfield, Sacred Heart Griffin, East Peoria, Galesburg, and against 4A Simeon, as we mentioned earlier. Try to run a little clock here, and Icefeller gets whistled for the foul. And here was Stockton's defense when you see Schlarman doing it, taking their time, communicating with each other, running out the clock efficiently. And to your point, Lee, you only learn how to do that, especially on a big stage like the state finals, by playing great teams that are constantly pressuring you and constantly, you know, pushing your skill set to the next level. 15 seconds to go now, first half. Schlarman jumped out to an 11-2 lead, and they've been up double digits ever since. Peoples inside, tough angle shot, gets it to go. And Stockton won't get a shot off to end the half. Schlarman goes to the locker room, matching their biggest lead of the game at 14. They have forced 12 Stockton turnovers in this ball game. Shooting just 45%, but Schlarman in command here as we send it over to Elise Meneker and Coach idea. Peoples. <laughs> Stealing Most coach again. <laughs> Thanks, coach. Another game, another opportunity where your team gets off to a fast, quick start. Yes. So what was the key in doing that against this Stockton team that can be equally dominant at times? Defense. That's the name of the game, defense, and I believe Janaya is playing an exceptional great game tonight. Uh, she struggled at least two or three games ago, and now she's really starting to come into herself. She's playing great basketball. She's leading this team, and everyone's stepping up. I was just going to say that she's leading this team in the first half with 11 points. So how has she been able to do it? Small in size, but big in stature in this game so far. Living in the moment. You know, this is a, a once-in-a-lifetime almost opportunity. We have two seasons of basketball left. Uh, she does exactly as a junior, and she's living in the moment right now. I couldn't be more happy for her. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Lee, let's go back to you. 
All right, Elise, thank you very much. We mentioned those 12 turnovers forced by Schlarman. They've scored 15 points off those turnovers and lead it here by 14 as we head to half. The state championship on the line in 1A. Schlarman in control. First, it was the love of your life. Then, the promotion you deserved. The daughter you planned for. And the son you didn't. Now, you're ready for a new home. So how do you properly protect all this? To solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at countryfinancial.com. All this took was a pristine SAT, ACT, and GPA. Before that, a healthy dose of travel field hockey, volunteering, the arts, and 18 years of everything else. Sending a kid to college is overwhelming. But to solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at countryfinancial.com. You work hard and you want to see your efforts pay off, literally. Whether you're dreaming of retirement, growing your business, or leaving a legacy for future generations, at Busey, we help you realize the possibilities of tomorrow. We listen to your needs and goals to create a sound strategy for you and your family. Enjoy the achievements of your life and work. We'll handle the rest. To Redbird Arena, where Schlarman holds a 14-point lead over Stockton in the 1A state championship game. Welcome back. I'm Elise Meneker. Just got done talking to Slarman head coach Keith Peoples, and he had a couple of key points that I want to bring in Chloe Barnes to talk about because that's really what's giving them the edge in this game so far. So, Chloe, first I want to address what Keith talked about, getting off to that fast start. He attributes that to the defense, forcing 12 Stockton turnovers. What have you seen out of this defense so far and how they've been able to be so effective? They're great communicators on defense. They have the ability to communicate, find open people, and move in sync, and then to be able to push the ball in transition, get hands on balls. They've had 15 points scored off of their turnovers alone. Their defense is also helping their offense. He also pointed out Janaya, of course, one of the shorter girls on the court, but playing a big game so far. How has she been able to be so effective, especially when Anaya probably you know they're keying her and then it gives other girls like that opportunity so what is it that you've been able to see with her that she's been able to capitalize on I think with her specifically, the thing that I love to watch about her is she's so creative. She has the opportunity to analyze and look at lanes that are open in zones and knows when to drive, when to dibble, or when to dribble, pardon me, when to dish, and is doing a fantastic job of looking for her own shot and letting the game come to her. So we talked about the defense for Schlarman, but what does Stockton have to do to clean things up and how can they kind of make this their own game and stay at their pace as opposed to playing Schlarman's game? I think Stockton needs to do a really good job of getting the post involved and realizing one on the defensive end that just because they're in a zone doesn't mean they can't be aggressive. They need to make sure that they're challenging the Schlarman shooters as much as they possibly can. And on the offensive end, set some picks, keep moving, find ways to get the ball inside and then kick out to the shooters. When you look at them on the offensive end, they're doing a lot of standing and that's not necessarily generating them opportunities. Chloe, thanks. And I'll be talking to Stockton head coach Tim Tempe before we resume play in the second half. But for now, there you see it's Schlarman with the 14-point lead over Stockton. There are those who dedicate themselves to a sense of honor, to a life of courage, and a commitment to something greater than themselves. They have always defended this nation and each other. 
They still do. The few. The proud. The Marines. First, it was the love of your life. Then, the promotion you deserved. The daughter you planned for. And the son you didn't. Now you're ready for a new home. So how do you properly protect all this? To solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at countryfinancial.com. this took was a pristine SAT, ACT, and GPA. Before that, a healthy dose of travel field hockey, volunteering, the arts, and 18 years of everything else. Sending a kid to college is overwhelming. But to solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at Welcome back. Joined now by Randy Clark, Vice President of Area Mortgage for Busey Bank. Randy, you're celebrating a big anniversary, 150 years of serving Central Illinois and beyond, really. What's it like being a partner with the IHSA, and why is it important for Busey Bank? Well, they kind of stand for the same principles we do, and, you know, they take care of their schools, but we're there for our communities in Central Illinois. How do you know, we're, we see a lot of families here today, so how can you serve these families and help them in the future? Well, we're getting bigger, but we take care of them one family at a time, but we take care of them with personal loans, mortgage loans, commercial, um, and wealth management. We're seeing some exciting basketball games, so what is your favorite part about this weekend? Uh, well, be, being able to be here for the championship game, um, you can't beat that. That's very exciting, and I'm a basketball fan, so this is wonderful. You like spending your Saturday here. <laughs> uh, I, I wouldn't be anywhere else. <laughs> Thanks so much, Randy. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. You work hard, and you want to see your efforts pay off. Literally, whether you're dreaming of retirement, growing your business, or leaving a legacy for future generations, at Busey, we help you realize the possibilities of tomorrow. We listen to your needs and goals to create a sound strategy for you and your family. Enjoy the achievements of your life and work. We'll handle the rest. Busey, your dream, our promise. There are those who dedicate themselves to a sense of honor, to a life of courage, and a commitment to something greater than themselves. They have always defended this nation and each other. They still do. The few, the proud, the Marines. First, it was the love of your life. Then, the promotion you deserved. The daughter you planned for. And the son you didn't. Now, you're ready for a new home. So how do you properly protect all this? To solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started. Joined now by Stockton head coach Tim Timpy. Coach, 12 turnovers in the first half. Thurman was able to get off to a fast start. So what's the key in playing your game and slowing things down? Well, we obviously got to take care of the ball. Probably half those turnovers came in the first three minutes of the game. But um, we got to take care of the ball. We got to get back on defense. Uh, we're not getting back on defense. They've probably got at least 10 to 12 points on layups because we didn't get back. Um, they're a good team. They're fast, they're quick, and uh, we got to adjust and get better. Thanks so much, Coach. Right, thank you.
All this took was a pristine SAT, ACT, and GPA. Before that, a healthy dose of travel field hockey, volunteering, the arts, and 18 years of everything else. Sending a kid to college is overwhelming. But to solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at countryfinancial.com. You work hard, and you want to see your efforts pay off, literally. Whether you're dreaming of retirement, growing your business, or leaving a legacy for future generations, at Busey, we help you realize the possibilities of tomorrow. We listen to your needs and goals to create a sound strategy for you and your family. Enjoy the achievements of your life and work. We'll handle the rest. Busey, your dream, our promise. There are those who dedicate themselves to a sense of honor, to a life of courage, and a commitment to something greater than themselves. They have always defended this nation and each other. They still do. The few, the proud, the Marines. And we're back at Redbird Arena. Arena, uh, Lee Hall, Chloe Barnes, and Elise Meneker. 30 to 16. And Chloe, when you look at that stat sheet, you look at points off turnovers, second chance points, points in the paint, bench points, everything double digits in favor of Schlarman. Schlarman's done a fantastic job, especially in the first half of capitalizing uh, in transition and also in the paint. They're not a team that's known for their inside presence, but they've done a really good job of attacking the gaps in the Stockton zone and capitalizing from there. Capriya Brown loose in the lane. Peoples the follow and draws the whistle on Tempe. That's one of the things that we've been speaking about all weekend long. Anytime you get an offensive rebound or the ball inside, making sure that you take the time to gather yourself, draw contact, and then finish, hopefully, or at least get to the line. And A.A. Peoples does a great job of that. As we mentioned, she is headed to the University of Notre Dame. But not next year. She is back along with every one of her teammates. We've talked about it, you know, they've expected to be here, but the amount of development that comes from, you know, for her specifically, another summer of AAU basketball and then another summer of high school, I can imagine how good she's going to be by the time next season rolls around and by the time she's finally ready to go to the Aspen Stewart fouled on the shot attempt, and she'll go to the line. Aspen had seven points yesterday. Stewart Just two so far in this one. <laughs> Honorable mention all conference pick for Stockton this year. And the presence of Tiana Tempe has really been a benefit to her in taking some of the scoring off her shoulders. So a 13 point lead for Danville. Newell into the lane and it crawls right over the top of the rim. She's got 13 points. And to me, she's been maybe the MVP for Schlarman in this tournament, at least from an offensive standpoint. I definitely agree from an offensive standpoint. She does a very good job of keeping her dribble, especially in a zone, even in a man-to-man -man setting for that matter, and looking at what the defense gives her and keeping her dribble until she can find herself to the basket. She gets the five count on defense. Janiah Newell, 5'6", junior, 15 points yesterday, 13 so far in this one. She brings it across as the Hilltoppers look to build on their 15-point lead. You'll see Stockton here in a 1-3-1 one, one zone, but great job with Schlarman to set some picks at the top of the zone, give Newell the opportunity to create. Capriya Brown from the top of the key. She's in double figures with 10. Already getting college offers as a sophomore. 
Hilltoppers have doubled up Stockton with a 17 point lead. Here comes Peoples on the run. Ahead to Newell, back to Peoples. Missed the layup. She had a little trouble getting her foot hooked down on the way to the hoop. Tippy launches a long three. And it'll be Schlarman ball. You see Tiana Timby right there with her head down. You can tell that they're starting to, to feel a certain type of way. And, you know, the, the smell of defeat is, is on them. But if I was Tiana Timby, I'd be telling my teammates, you know, we still have a lot of time. There's still five minutes left in the third quarter. I think they need a little bit of encouragement and motivation right now. And that would be a good time for her to step up. Gerard traveled. Well, I think Tim Tempe would like to see them get a better shot than that in the half court for sure. And I think that is one thing that comes specifically with Tana Tempe with, with maturity. The game is necessarily off to the start that you wanted it to. You know that your offensive threat is a three. So in your brain, it makes sense to come down and try and shoot a three and get offense going that way instead of making sure that everyone is on the same page and getting a good shot. We've had a tougher time getting it inside to Emily Offenheiser today. She's got just one field goal in this ball game. She had a double double yesterday. They get it inside to her this time, misses, and Peoples comes out of there with it. She's going to push the tempo, take it right to the hoop. Can't get the basket, but gets the whistle. Lost her heart. The layups are just not falling these last two times down the floor. Megan Guiley, second personal. Megan picks up her second and sends Peoples to the line. Named All State yesterday. Not surprisingly. You see your teammates joining her, clap her on the back, tell her, hey, it's okay. You know, probably still frustrated from missing the layup, but let's get these free throws. She's 0 of 4 now at the line. <laughs> Tippy gets pressured and just kind of fired it away in any general direction, and there was nobody there for Stockton. Now Brown misses the layup. Baseball ahead to Eisenfeller, and uh, she couldn't hang on to it. We've got a timeout. It's all Schlarman in this one. They led 11 to 2 early, and this is their biggest lead of the ball game. First, it was the love of your life. Then, the promotion you deserved. The daughter you planned for and the son you didn't. Now you're ready for a new home. So how do you properly protect all this? To solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at countryfinancial.com. Schleiman Academy. My dream job would be to be a pediatrician so I can work with kids and interact with kids and help them. Something funny about one of my te teammates most people don't know is that Suzette Shimmershine, our freshman, before the game got stuck in a locker and the janitor had to come get her out with a key and she was hyperventilating <laughs> and going crazy but we were all there to keep her calm. <laughs> Something about a coach that you don't know is that O.J. Harris is a deacon and he prays with us before our games and practices, gets us all on the same page, connected to God. <laughs> a talent I wish I had is that I could sing, because I love to sing, but I'm not very good and I annoy all my teammates, so hopefully I can <laughs> give them something nice to listen to once in a while. <clears throat> oh, say, <laughs> can you see? <laughs> Cut. <laughs> 
Well, yes, there are limits even to the talents of one like Anaya Peoples. I know. <laughs> you know, that national anthem rendition was very Fergie reminiscent from <laughs> the, other, the other day. Peoples comes up with the steal here. Right in tune on the break as she gives it up to Gerard for the easy bucket. And that's the biggest lead of the game for the Hilltoppers. They get the takeaway here. Quickly ahead to Janiah Newell. And she matches her scoring output from the semifinals with 15. 21 point Schlarman lead. Peoples picks up her third. You have to let me try and get her to karaoke. That's a good way to work those bugs out. Yeah, that's the only way that you can learn is by practicing. <laughs> and right. I, I say that, you know, even the Fergie comment, because I can't sing at all, like catch screeching, and she sounded better than me. So, hey. Cat screeching. Or claw screeching and scratching. Whatever the cat and the singing <laughs> reference is, that is me. Well, I don't think cats, I've heard cats screech, and they don't sound that good. <laughs> I just want to know if you checked out Tenacious D in your free time in the last 24 hours. I did not. I actually want to know how the freshman got caught in the locker. Well, like, I, I have know, questions about that I didn't want to bring that up, but I think that's suspicious. I, yeah. I, I don't think the freshman got into the locker by herself. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Three-point attempt for Stewart is short. Back in my high school, the, uh, the deal was to sell elevator passes to the freshmen. And what's an elevator pass? Well, we didn't have elevators. That was the trick. Oh, yeah. I would have been the one that tried See, to take there you go. Pass. We could oh, man. <laughs> Long three attempt by Kaylee Hass is no good. Here comes Schlarman the other way. Gerard from the top of the key. She comes from a basketball family. Her dad is one of the assistant coaches. Her cousin is the head coach at Danville Area Community College. And her uncle coaches the University of Indianapolis. And she's still got three cousins playing. So Sydney Gerard was practically born with a basketball in her hand as Offenheiser gets her second field goal of the game. And the whistle inside will go against Stockton. It's on Tempe, her second. And there's Sidney Girard. Talked about her incredible basketball family. She is a 68% free throw. CC Domolino comes back in for Schlarman, along with McKaylee Allen. Really has in there for Stockton now. And free throws have been a bit of a bugaboo for Slarman this year, but yesterday they shot them outstanding. 14 of 16 in the fourth quarter, including 10 straight. They were 14 of 18 in the game. And that's four now on Anaya Peoples. She'll have to come out for the rest of this third quarter at least. And yep. now if you're Stockton, it's important that you capitalize on her being out of the game, especially in this zone, trying to find opportunities to attack the basket with a dribble and then looking to either jump down to the post or kick out to another guard. They're going to have to do more than just shoot threes. That charm and defense, the denial on those passing lanes, forcing another turnover, 18 now for Stockton.
Stockton was fourth in 1993, third in 2001. They will improve on that here today. A pretty big hole to get that first place trophy, however. Gerard spins in the lane, air balls it. Allen got a hand on it. And the whistle goes against Schlarman. Sydney Gerard, her second. Cook with the left arm there. Stockton will shoot free throws on the next Schlarman foul. And Stockton's having a heck of a time controlling the basketball. Katie Wright. A good ball handler, according to Tim Tempe, but uh, they are all having trouble taking care of the basketball. 20 turnovers now on Stockton. If you're Stockton right now on defense, as, as much as you want to kind of take a step back, you need to start being able to pressure the ball at least a little bit. You, you're playing in a zone, so you have people that can help you if you get beat, but this is way too easy for the Schlarman team right now. Not in any hurry, up 21. Gabriel Brown content to take care of the basketball near half court. Put on a little dribbling display. Five count is on. And gets it. Good defense right there by Katie Wright. Uh, you got to get rid of the basketball if you know that five counts on. That's also a responsibility of your teammates. If you're kind of, you know, locked in on, on what you're trying to right. do for them to tell you that the ref is counting. Farman with another takeaway. Stop me if you've heard that one before. Final seconds, third quarter. Newell, high arching shot won't go. Stockton, can they get a last shot attempt off? Nope. The attempt by Cheyenne Mates was too late. And it's Schlarman still in control after three on their way to the state championship. All this took was a pristine SAT, ACT, and GPA. Before that, a healthy dose of travel field hockey, volunteering, the arts, and 18 years of everything else. Sending a kid to college is overwhelming. But to solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at countryfinancial.com. You work hard and you want to see your efforts pay off, literally. Whether you're dreaming of retirement, growing your business, or leaving a legacy for future generations, at Busey, we help you realize the possibilities of tomorrow. We listen to your needs and goals to create a sound strategy for you and your family. Enjoy the achievements of your life and work. We'll handle the rest. Busey, your dream, our promise. There are those who dedicate themselves to a sense of honor, to a life of courage, and a commitment to something greater than themselves. They have always defended this nation and each other. They still do. The few, the proud, the Marines. Janiah Newell, what a weekend she has had here at Redbird Arena. 15 yesterday, 15 today, and she's finding different ways to get the basketball in the hoop. Pretty 
impressive performance for Janaya Newell, who finds ways to impact the game, according to Keith Peoples, and she has done just that this weekend. And the Danville juggernaut rolls into the fourth quarter with a 21-point lead. It's funny when you mentioned Schlarman has a 21-point lead. They've also forced Stock into 21 turnovers, and ironically enough, have also scored 21 points off of those turnovers. It's a true testament to their defense and how outstanding it's been all game long. Stockton with just three points in that third quarter. And it would appear it's just a matter of time for Schlarman. Looking for win number 33 here in a state championship. I still think it's kind of fascinating to talk about how they were so disappointed the last couple of years with the youth they've got in their lineup out there today. In addition to, you know, growing as far as the game of basketball is concerned, Coach Peoples has got to be impressed with their maturity. They've handled this whole state final tournament appearance with grace and poise. Capriya Brown with the tough take to the hoop in the end one. 12 points for Capriya Brown. Took the impact and made the bucket anyway. She's got offers from DePaul, Wichita State, Marshall, and Xavier already as a sophomore. Offenheiser gets the offensive rebound and she'll shoot free throws. That was great positioning right there by Offenheiser. She was fronted at first and her ability to spin around and position herself for the offensive rebound was great. Unanimous all-conference player, all-stater Emily Offenheiser. She's been to state in track three straight years and is uh, looking to continue her track career in college. In the state in the discus and the shot. She's looking at Wisconsin and Mizzou. I can help her out with the good places to eat in Columbia. Forty-three to twenty-one. Stockton pull out into a man-to-man -man and to afford a little bit more pressure on the Schlarman team. They force the turnover there and they get the possession arrow. Well, this Schlarman team, you know, they're 1A, but they look like a 3 or 4A team out there, don't they? Yeah, just watching them, I would have had no idea that they were a 1A team. They play actually very similar to a college team with their discipline, how they move on defense, how they share the ball with each other. True testament, not just to them, but to their coaching staff as well. Wolfenheiser shots off the back of the rim. We talked about their wins over bigger schools and how they're giant killers. They trailed for a Simeon by eight at the half and came back and beat Simeon 54 to 50. So believe it or not, they've been behind in games before and, and been able to handle that adversity as well. One of the things I do like about them is that they're able to handle the game when Anaya Peoples is not on the floor. She's been out for quite a bit of this quarter, and you wouldn't even be able to tell they haven't missed a beat, which isn't necessarily true all the time for teams and, and their star player. Well, and Coach Peoples talked about his freshman and sophomores playing big minutes in the four games coming into state and how they had showed maturity in hostile situations. You know, there's nothing but youth on this team. But they sure don't play like it. Tiana Tempe at the line. Speaking of youth, she's just got five points in this ball game. She averages 12 and a half as a freshman.
Weisfeller whistled for the foul as she and Newell went up for the inbounds pass. Good Newell. effort right there by Icefeller. Newell a little slow to get up. Blue-collar player Emily Offenheiser now with nine. And Keith Peoples wants a timeout before he gets another five count. 4-17 to play in this one. It's all Danville Schlarman. First, it was the love of your life. Then, the promotion you deserved. The daughter you planned for. And the son you didn't. Now, you're ready for a new home. So how do you properly protect all this? To solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at countryfinancial.com. As a sophomore with a 13 point ball game here today. Inside, outside, offensive glass, you name it. She has done it for the Hilltoppers in this championship ball game where they lead now by 22 points. Capria Brown. We mentioned the offers Utah, Michigan State, and Clemson also among the others showing interest. She seems to handle that very well, too. She does. That's one of the things I actually like the most about her. It's not even just how she, she plays offensively or defensively, but she has a certain type of swag to her. She Every time she's down the floor, she's communicating with her teammates. She gets excited. She has just the right amount of emotion to fire up her teammates, but not to get too out of control. It's a type of poise that sometimes comes with maturity, and she's showing that early. And it seems like every tournament there's a player that comes in and shows up and and plays maybe better than they have all season, or at least shows up more in the scoring more than they have all season. And that player for me this weekend has been Janiah Newman. I couldn't agree with you more. I always like to joke. Hoffenheiser. Oh, you know that's. That's what you dream about when you're a young kid playing in the state championship and having the best games 
of your life. And she's been able to do exactly that. And like Coach People says, she's living in the moment. And you couldn't be happier for well, her. Number three is Sydney Girard, her third first goal. Foul that time was on Sydney Girard, her third. And it sends Emily Offenheiser back to the line. She's got 11 in this one. Seems like a quiet 11, but I guess that's because they're down by 20 plus points. Lead 21 now for Schlarman. You'll see Anaya Peoples get the ball back and spread the floor, which creates opportunities for her. She puts it on the floor, takes it to the hoop, gets a little contact, gets the bucket. She struggled with making her layups earlier in the game, so it's nice to see her get one to fall now. She's got nine. Aspen Stewart off a screen and gets the roll. Five for Aspen Stewart. Great awareness right there by Aspen Stewart, knowing when to pull the ball back out and take a jump shot instead of driving it to the rim. Capriya Brown with the miss. Keeples there for the rebound, and she will pull it back out and run a little clock here. Under three minutes to go now. Some oohs and ahs from her ball handling ability. And now the whistle on Stewart. And that will send Schlarman to the free throw line. Allen 14 has been Stewart, her second first goal. CC Domolino back in for Schlarman. Ellie Hass back in for her, uh, Stockton. Capriya Brown gets the miss. From the elbow. She didn't quite realize she was open. She's like, okay. <laughs> Why not? Ice Feller. A little strong on the layup attempt. Before she could turn it over, her coach got a timeout. Two oh three left in this one, and Schlarman has been in control since they were up eleven to two. Here's our gift of hope assist of the game as Capriya Brown finds Janaya Newell on the runout. They play so well together. Pretty sweet dish from Capriya Brown. Capriya and Anaya Peoples, they've been together since fifth grade and uh, I guess they go at it pretty hard at practice from what Keith people says and then they really hold each other accountable these two and they got one more year together after this. I think that's so importantly especially with these teams who may not face a lot of teams in their area that are as good as them as you can see by their record up until this point. So making sure that they go at each other in practice is really important. The IHSA Girls Basketball Championships continue next week on NBC Sports Chicago Plus starting Friday at 11 a.m. with the Class 3A semifinals. You can also stream the game live at NBCSportsChicago.com slash Illinois High School. Another fantastic weekend of basketball here next week at Redbird Arena. And then we will shift west to Peoria for four classes of boys basketball. Stewart the foul, more free throws for Anaya Peoples who is 0 for 5 at the line today. Just 
really uncharacteristic for her considering she shoots about 70% for this season. Hannah Smith checks into the ball game and a big hand for Emily Offenheiser, the senior, and a big hug from her coach and some tears from Emily, her last high school basketball game. What a run they have had. If you're Emily Offenheiser right now, you may not necessarily be happy about how things turned out, but her performance, especially yesterday, and even, you know, a quiet 12 points today, she has nothing to be disappointed about. Keith Peoples going to his bench as well. Sidney Girard getting a nice embrace over there from the coaching staff, along with Destiny Die. And Janiah Newell, who I don't think I'll ever forget the weekend she's had. I don't think she'll ever forget the weekend she's <laughs> well, had either. Sure. Or the town of Danville, for that matter. And a big smile from Anaya Peoples as she finally hits a free throw. She's like, what is going on? You mentioned 70% at the line this season. And a big ovation for Anaya Peoples. Just two minutes and one tick away from a state championship. And finally a big hug from dad over there on that sideline. Under two minutes to go now. Marmon in command from the beginning here up 11 to 2 and really never been much of a ball game on the scoring since. SWAT. Great effort right there, though, by Saxon to go into there fearlessly. And to step Cheyenne back and back Mapes. to three. Cheyenne Mapes for three. 5'8 freshman. And a whistle and a foul on Mapes. Our Wind Trust play of the game. The takeaway by Allen. And here come the Hilltoppers. Peoples in transition and the sweet little touch from the free throw line. That is our Win Trust play of the game. That is Tana Cedar missing at the line. Very impressive weekend for the Schlarman Hilltoppers. Your coach, Keith Peoples, I don't think that you could have asked for it to go any better. They played true to themselves the entire weekend, got as many people involved as possible. It was a true team effort. It wasn't just one star player. And they've done a fantastic job. That disappointment from the last couple of years and turning it around and maturing as a team on and off the floor. And becoming a team that expected to win rather than kind of ducking their heads when things went against them. You can start to hear the Danville crowd getting excited as they know what's about to come their way. the glass and good. <laughs> what a great way to become state champions. True team effort. I'm sorry I would say her name, but she's not on any roster I have. <laughs> way to go 33. It's so fun to see the Schlarman girls really uh, giving it up for their teammates you know the, the starters on the bench cheering hard for the subs to get a bucket that just kind of shows you the team oh it was Suzette Semmersheim who was wearing number 33 she's number 22 on our roster so sorry about that Suzette congratulations to you and your Schlarman teammates they win it 53 31 to win the first state championship in the Schlarman program Stockton with their best finish at state, finishes second. With a 
NBC IHSA director and our neighbor Craig Anderson on hand. And there is Keith Peoples, win number 156 in his career is a state championship victory, taking it back home to Danville. Their only loss came just down the road a little bit over in Bloomington at Illinois Wesley and back at Christmas time and they have grown up a lot since then and bring home the state championship. Let's go over to Elise. Thanks, Lee. Janiyah, you were locked in from the first seconds of this game. What clicked for you right away? Defense. Defense just connects for me. Once I get defense going, then I know I'm going to have a good game. You guys make it look easier. First state appearance, and you're going home a state champ. How did you guys do it, and how does it feel? It feels wonderful, and how do we do it? Just practicing, focus, locking in. That's the key to everything, defense especially. Once our defense was there, I knew that we were going to be something. We were going to, we were going to have a good game. Coach has talked about the chemistry on this team all year long. All of you are coming back, so just how dangerous can this team be? Yes, yeah, very dangerous. It's very dangerous. So, therefore, we're coming back, and we're getting one more. For everybody. Thanks, Judai. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Pretty good weekend for Janaya Newell and her Schlarma teammates as they take home the state championship in Class 1A with a 53 31 win here this afternoon over Stockton. And like we've been saying the whole time, this is in true Schlarman form. 17 points, Janaya Newell. 15 points, Capriya Brown. 11 points, Anaya Peoples. You could not have won this game without contributions from every single one of them. Let's go back over to Elise. Coach, last time, and you are a state champ with that. That's wonderful. How did your team do it? What did it take today to pull out the win and come out here with the edge that they had? It's nothing special. Um, Winning games is all about playing defense, living in the moment. Winning championships is about rebounding, knocking down free throws, and having someone else step up. And uh, I thought it, that's exactly what happened today. Our bench stepped up. Janiyah stepped up and had a phenomenal game, and we fed off her energy, and we were able to prevail. This is almost, it seems like a redemption game for you guys, or weekend. You said it was a relief that you got here, but you felt it was a long time coming. So what does it mean to be leaving here, state champs? It means a lot. Again, it means a lot to our school, our community. The girls have put in so much work, their efforts during the preseason. They now understand what it takes to be a true state champion, and we're looking forward to coming back next season. Speaking of next season, you get all of these girls back. No one is graduating. What does that mean as a coach? It means a lot. Our coaching staff, their experience, there's no leadership when it comes to seniors on our team. So we've had to rely on our coaching staff. Now they understand what it takes to win a state championship. Hopefully the battle won't be as challenging. We're looking forward to the next season though. Coach, thank you and congratulations. You Lee, back to you. All right, Elise, thank you and congratulations to the Hilltoppers. Let's go to Jeff Fritz and our PA announcer as we hand out all the trophies here. Third, fourth place, second place, and the state championship trophy. Jeff Fritzen. 2018 season in fourth place with a final record of 29 wins and seven losses. First meet the superintendent of Okaw Valley High School, Kent Stodder. Principal, Matt Schof. Athletic director, Brooks Inman. At coach, Brad Akers. Assistant coach, Samantha Inman. Assistant coach, Jim Underwood. Bookkeeper, Rhonda Yantis. Manager, Kaylin Teague. Manager, Janae Nave. Number one, Maya Lehman. Number two, Sierra Perry. Number three, Paige Robinson. Number five, Danielle Hill. Number 10, Madison Vogel. 
Number 14, Kaylee George. Number 15, Natalie Jeffers. Number 22, Kate Jeffers. Number 23, Hope Rupert. Number 25, Bella Benning. 31, Delaney Johnson. And 33, Alicia Smegel. Now will Coach Akers and the captains from Okaw Valley High School please step forward to receive the fourth place trophy. At this time, please meet the Greyhounds of Lebanon High School who finished the season in third place with a final record of 32 wins and three losses. First meet the superintendent, Patrick Keeney. Principal Lee Jackson. Head coach and athletic director, Chad Kruthis. Assistant coach, Merv Kruthis. <laughs> Assistant coach, Jessica Zerlini. <laughs> Manager, J.C. Vilmer. Scorekeeper, Amber Callert. Scorekeeper, Brent Wood. Film, Jordan Jones. And your squad members, number one, Alex Hardy. Number two, Jalen McNeese. Number four, Maggie McMullen. Number five, Sierra Lewis. Number 10, Essie Meeker. Number 11, Emily Reinick. Number 12, Krista Bass. Number 13, Grace Krumsig. Number 14, Abigail Reinick. Number 15, Madison Schoenfeld. Number 20, Kendra Bass. Twenty one, Melanie Hernandez. Twenty two, Lorena Kramer. Twenty three, Katie Fertig. And number fifty, Mackenzie Becker. And now will Coach Crucis and the captains from Lebanon High School please step forward to receive the third place trophy. At this time, meet the Lady Blackhawks of Stockton High School who finished the season in second place with a final record of 32 wins and three losses. First meet the superintendent, Dr. David Gilliland. Athletic director, Jesse Snyder. Head coach, Tim Tempe. Assistant coach, Jill Pepin. Assistant coach, Robin Schultz. 
Manager, Ellie Eden. Statistician, Ken Buskey. Scorer, Deb Huso. And the Lady Blackhawks, number five, Haley Broody. Number 10, Cheyenne Mapes. 11, Kendra Scase. 12, Ellen Fox. Number 13, Katie Wright. Number 14, Aspen Stewart. Number 20, Tiana Tempe. 21, Megan Guiley. Number 23, Callie Hess. 24, Elizabeth Eisfeller. Number 30, Hannah Smith. And number 34, Emily Offenheiser. Coach Tempe and the captains from Stockton High School, please step forward to receive the second place trophy. At this time, please meet the Hilltoppers of Schlarman High School who finished the 2018 season in first place with a final record of 33 wins and one loss. First, the principal, Gail Lewis. Dean, Mark Croy. Athletic director, Phil Sexton. Head coach, Keith Peoples. Assistant coach, Jerry O'Neill. Assistant coach, David Gerard. Assistant coach, O.J. Harrison. Assistant coach, Latana Lillard. Manager, Anna Fitzgerald. Manager, Elizabeth Stemack. Manager, Molly DeBoard. Bookkeeper, Todd Damilano. Videographer, Chuck Burkowski. And your Hilltopper squad members, number two, CC Damilano. Number three, Sydney Gerard. Number four, Capria Brown. Number five, Anaya Peoples. Number 10, Tana Cedar. Number 11, Janaya Newell. Number 14, Emma Bogan. Number 33, Suzette Sermersheim. 
Number 31, McKaylee Allen. And number 32, Destiny Dye. Now will Coach Peoples and the captains from Schlarman please step forward to receive the first place trophy. Danville Schlarman, your Class 1A state champions, and it sounded to me like Keith Peoples is ready to get started for practice for uh, two in a row, huh? He is. I would probably advise him to cherish this moment, especially <laughs> because of how they won and in what fashion. They're going to have a big target on their back, but when you have three players that scored in double figures today, a bench that is also capable of scoring and producing offensive and defensively, they're going to be a really tough team to beat this next season. They uh, did it in dominant fashion here this weekend. An impressive weekend. Stockton, the only team that had come here that had a trophy before, but it had been a long time. So all these teams were newcomers to state, and they take home memories that will last them a lifetime, especially Danville Schlarman, who wins the Class 1A state championship and thinking about 2019 already. We'll see you back here tonight for Class 2A.